Hey guys, what's going on? This is um, Matt Loves Drums, and right now I'm going to show you my electric kit, as well as I'm also going to show you my new uh, double pedal that I just picked up at um, the mu uh, music store today. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so my electric kit is a Pintech Easy V2 kit, and it's a four-piece configuration with uh, Crash, Ride, Hi-Hats, and I took the network pedal uh, that I had downstairs on my um, acoustic kit, I brought it up here so it can be used on my electric kit. And yeah, uh, let's get started. All right, so uh, I have a, yeah, I told you about the drum set. I also have Animal right there, by the way. Um, the symbols are TC series. And as well, I have a Rock and Sock Throne. Uh, it's red. And I also use um, nylon tip sticks. Uh, they're Promark 707s. And the reason being is because I don't want to scratch up my um, electric kit with uh, wood tip sticks. And yeah, I'll actually give you a sample of what it sounds like. Um, and on the kit, there are all these different songs I'm able to play. I can play up to 54 songs. I think four or five of them are actually, you can make them yourself. But I have like different songs on there like um, jazz, fusion, disco, uh, funk, rock. And also I have 30 kits. And the nice thing about the kits is um, I think it's 10 are uh, programmable. You can program them yourself. And right down here, the amplifier that I'm using for it is a Roland PM-01. No, sorry, 08. And yeah, I'll give you a sample of what it sounds like. So the snare drum, this is the um, rock setting, by the way. This is the kit number one that I, and I usually use this And that's my kit. It's my electric kit. And yeah. Alright, now we're moving on. This is the new pedal that I just picked up today. It is a Thai Metalworks. It's the older version. Uh, it's not the newer one, it's the um, older one. And yeah, I just got it today. And yeah, let's. Uh, I'll do a little walkthrough on it. Um, so this one uh, won. I think it was 2010 it won the um, NAM best uh, new product. Excuse me. And uh, then, yeah. Uh, so, right up here, I have um, three, uh, it's a three way beater. There's a uh, felt, plastic, and wood. And the really, uh, I use uh, felt beaters. Uh, I already played, I already played um, the acoustic, I was, uh, was already practicing some uh, Dream Theater with these pedals, and they are, you have to really get used to these pedals. Like, it's a big change from those pedals over there. But, um, I use the, uh, plastic, um, side whenever I was, uh, practicing or playing, uh, for the kit downstairs. And these, uh, pedals are so powerful, I don't need the plastic side, I use the felt. And, yeah, they're just great, amazing pedals. Um, so, here... Um, the nice thing is about the these pedals is uh, you don't need a drum key, but you need a Allen wrench for most of the things that are on this. Um, actually, I think it's for all of them. Actually, you need an Allen key. You can't use the drum key on this thing at all. I think. And the nice thing is with um, these beaters is they are able to. Uh, one sec, I just gotta find the right Allen key. These beaters are actually able to turn like I, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera but uh, these beaters can move from side to side uh, like say if you have a dent in your bass drum then you can move it out of the way of the dent and play that way or something and also another cool thing about this is if you check that out right there that adjusts the cam on this on the pedal so you can go from like a smooth, comfortable feeling to like a rocky, punchy uh, feel for with your pedal. Um, right now I have mine set so 
I'm getting a really comfortable and smooth playing, like a feel for them. And yeah, like I really don't, I'm not really big on the uh, rocky, uh, like the way that those, uh, the way the pedals, those pedals move. But yeah, more smooth, comfortable for me. And the nice thing about these pedals is you, there's a, one second, I just got to find it. They're able to move in and out and also uh, these right here if you loosen those up you can actually move the chain you can move the pedal down like that and the chain will move out but right now I have it right in the, set right in the middle and the reason being is because if I put if I put it all the way to the end the chain is going to be way out to here and if I put them all the way in here the chain is going to be slanted and right now I want them as straight as possible and if they're all the way up at the top as well, I'm going to get too much slack on the chain and the chain's not going to, it's going to like collapse as people, as people say, I think. And right now I have my spring tension as usual with all my pedals. They're as tight as possible. And hmm, what else can I tell you about these pedals? Uh, Allen wrenches come with these and also on t uh, I paid about $400 for these. And the nice thing, Thing about these is they also come with a free drum bag and the drum bag is amazing it's actually downstairs right now and yeah that's the double kicker that I'm gonna be using from now on and as long as I'm playing the drums I think these are gonna be it for me the metal works also I'd like to at this point uh, say thank you very much to Sean and everybody over at music workshop um, thank you for selling me my uh, drum set that I have downstairs and thank you for selling my parents my electric kit. This actually happened to be a graduation gift from university last year. And yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much and we'll uh, talk to you again soon.